today I'm out at a job in Miranda. Basically all this area has just got themselves FTTC, MBN fiber to the curb. Um, and a lot of people around here have Optus cable. So if you have Optus cable and you're going over to FTTC, there might be a few things you're gonna to need to consider if you just go plug and play because it might not work. Um, because the internal sockets are wired back to here at the Optus box and they're not actually wired to the Telstra leading cable going back out to the street. So today I'm on a job and I'm gonna show you what we do to get that fixed up. Okay, bye. So basically here the uh, socket on the right hand side you can see has a thinner type leading cable. Now that cable is an Optus cable and that cable runs back to that box that was on the side of the house there we just were at. Now the cable on the left, the socket on the left, actually has a Telstra leading cable that's going back out to the street. Now as you can see, the second pair, the red back, black, is connected to the, uh, the socket and the first pair, the blue white, isn't. Now the MBN data is actually coming in on the blue white, which wasn't connected. So if they just would have plugged into that socket, nothing would have happened. The red black is um, going back out into the socket and it's going to a snot box and then that snot box is connected still into the Telstra copper ADSL line, which is all the copper network. But the blue white one splits off and then goes into the FTT C box. So as you can see, the MBN FTT C network connection device, we have sync and everything's working on that. Um, as it is connected to that first pair, like I said. So now, we've once you've got that connected, basically all you've got to do is plug it into the gateway, which is the device here, which then your internet and your Wi-Fi signal come out of. So uh, that's, as you can see here, uh, Wi-Fi and internet light are on, so we are good to go there. Now, um, now I'm gonna show you what we need to do to get this Optus existing Optus cable um, house working with MBN, FTTC. So first thing we want to do here is remove this uh, Optus cable. All right, so now this is separated out from the net, from the rest of the internal cable. You just focus in on that. All right. So now I've disconnected the Telstra leading cable from the uh, socket there, and then we're gonna move it over to this socket and then we've disconnected the Optus leading cable and now let's plug this in then the MBN data should go to all the sockets in the house. So now I've moved that second socket that had the Telstra leading cable going to it and we've extended the Telstra leading cable over to the socket that had the Optus cable leading cable to it which is where all the uh, internal cables are. Now we've connected that in so Optus now has been disconnected and the Telstra leading cable with the MBN signal is now connected to the socket.